The main mission of the MGH Nephrology Division, first and foremost, is to provide the very best, most compassionate, uh, most informed and innovative patient care that we can, and we do that across a range of settings, uh, including as inpatient consultants in a very busy academic hospital, um, as part of a large and growing kidney transplant program, in dialysis units in the community, as well as a hospital-based peritoneal dialysis program, in a specialized vasculitis and glomerulonephritis center, and then of course in our main outpatient nephrology clinic. Now that clinic is a setting where we have physicians who see uh, patients in their capacity as general nephrologists. And we also have um, several physicians who've carved out very highly specialized areas of expertise within nephrology. MGH has a, a long and proud tradition of uh, both basic science and clinical research. The Kidney Research Center um, has, has a, a really kind of diverse uh, portfolio. Uh, we have investigators studying everything from hepatorenal syndrome to the interface between kidney injury and pregnancy complications. The mission of our Kidney Research Center is um, uh, to really develop new diagnostics and therapeutics that will uh, impact uh, the patients and their caregivers' lives. As with the clinical activities, research at the MGH uh, or within the MGH Nephrology Division is both broad and deep. And so we have basic scientists who are inter interested in cell biology, in structural biology, in physiology, metabolism, genetics. We have investigators who are interested in epidemiology, bioinformatics, who conduct clinical trials and everything in between. The basic science is fashioned by a program that I started as former chief, which is to have corresponding basic research that is mirrored by the clinical programs. Uh, my research focus is on inflammation and autoimmunity and this we have translated into a potential drug that could be effective in an ischemic acute kidney injury that we have done in monkeys. The program in membrane biology is uh, as part of the nephrology division at Massachusetts General Hospital, and uh, it's a group of physicians and scientists who are interested in studying membrane trafficking from different perspectives, from water transport to acid-base uh, physiology uh, to uh, transport of electrons and ions. We're really interested in how individual kidney cells respond and take cues from the environment of the body in order to regulate kidney function, and we call this maintaining homeostasis. I work here at the Vasculitis and Glomerulonephritis Center, where we treat autoimmune kidney diseases. Our research is primarily about trying to find uh, the uh, simplest and most efficient and least toxic application of currently available tools. It's been exciting because the improvements have been so dramatic. The mentorship is very important to us in the Nephrology Division. We have a recognition that it's important for uh, young um, physicians and scientists to um, uh, be partnered with uh, more seasoned uh, and experienced uh, physicians and scientists to help them uh, grow uh, in their careers. Um, and so everyone is, is usually partnered up with a mentor who helps them to develop their science, mostly as a research mentor, but we also realize the importance of developing teams of mentors. We have a training grant. Uh, we have a vigorous training program involving seminars, uh, individual one-on-one -on -one discussions. And so we try to tailor individual needs uh, for the particular candidate, and we bring them up from renal fellows all the way, in some cases, to full professors. We are hopeful that uh, we will be uh, able to really tackle uh, the epidemic of uh, kidney disease and all the relevant complications that come with that uh, syndrome. Our primary responsibility is to train, attract and nurture the very best people who will be in the best position to take this knowledge, to, to, to leverage these tools and to make the greatest impact possible for our patients.